I've kind of been a little bit depressed this week. Skinny girl in transit this season really annoyed me. The infamous youth to the people. So one thing that my therapist said, and I'm sharing this because I think that it might be useful. Da 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 da! Nars! Need to do something this weekend! concealer and all of that this is a close closer look and this is what it looks like after i think i did my makeup around nine today and it's almost six o'clock so a full day's work well where <laughs> and i haven't touched up my face not once i still have enough foundation to wear it one more time so i think i'm going to do that and then i'm going to decide whether i'm going to buy it or not but i'll put the shade down below in the description box because I'm not sure what it's called but I'm actually very impressed with it. I like that it feels quite lightweight. It's definitely buildable. This doesn't have that like thick on your face foundation feel even though it's quite full coverage. We'll see, we'll see. Ignore this. Like the weather was so lovely today and now it's freezing. Like I just had to go close the window and get my house robe. What else is new? This morning I went to Quartz. I think that's what it's called. That's definitely not what it's called. I went to Corto <laughs> with my friend for brunch. We knew the area that we wanted to go to, so we both agreed on Muswell Hill. Turns out that it wasn't quite Muswell Hill. And TikTok, of course, hyped that place and said that it was one of the best places to go for brunch in North London. It was very neighborhood vibes, if that makes sense. I don't think it's worth traveling for. I was so excited to hear about their waffle French toast. And when I tell you, it was so dry. Like it was literally like a toasted waffle. I had to get some syrup to help that go down. I liked the Korean fried chicken burger, which is what we got. But again, not the best. The Aperol spritz as well was quite weak. Me and my friend both said that we would give it a 6 out of 10. So make of that what you will. I do think it's worth checking out if you're in the area. But I wouldn't go out of my way to go check it out. And yes! <gasps> Guys, I wanted to ask you guys what you thought about my last vlog. I spent so much longer than I would typically spend editing that vlog because I really want to up the ante. I really want to make vlogs that are interesting, hopefully, to watch. <laughs> and at least, like, visually aesthetic. I'm trying to improve my cinematography just let me know what you think. Let me know if what you thought about the music choices, about some of the tweaks to the editing, and if you have any more suggestions on how I can improve. I'm really hoping that vlog does well. I even changed um, my thumbnail style. I'm just trying to get the views up on this channel. So yeah, you could definitely help me out by sharing my channel with someone, guys. We're about 1,000 away from 30K. So thank you guys so much for 29K as well. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't even begin to tell you. But I wanted to do a really quick unboxing because I only have 8% left on this battery. So I have some things from Amazon as well as 
if not Space and K, look fantastic. One of them. Ah. I talked to you guys in last week's vlog about wanting to, about feeling like my hands were really dry. I picked this up because I just always felt that like my hands are quite hard. Like that's one thing that people tell me all the time when they feel my hands. <laughs> and I think it's because I've just never been the kind of person that's super precious about wearing gloves to wash my dishes or like anything to do with my hands. I'll just do it with my hands. I don't like care. And I don't know if that's why. Also, when I had a jelly, I used to make a lot of stuff by hand. So I've just never really had soft hands and I'm starting to get a bit conscious of it. So I bought these softening hand mask gloves. I actually think I might do like a bit of a pamper night, actually. That might be fun because I also have an LED face mask, actually, that I need to unbox. Gosh, so much stuff. But yeah, this was the first thing in the Amazon box and it was just that in a whole box we are used to amazon's antics by now you know what's so funny like i've been quite miserable since i've been back primarily because of a lot of different things but with the weather one thing i really missed about the uk is like just how happy everybody is when the weather is nice like, this is like a completely different set of city when the weather's nice, honestly. And it was just so funny seeing people wearing tank tops and shorts in 15 degrees weather. Okay, this is another thing for soft hands. It's a working hands. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> and the instructions do say it's unscented. I'm not gonna lie, like... This doesn't really feel like anything. Okay, we're gonna see how that goes. I think that's it and then the last thing I got was this oh oh I got this <laughs> lens kit in last week's vlog I was talking about how I felt like I needed a new lens which I ordered by the way because there's just I got a good deal on the lens I wanted but come to find out I just needed to clean my lens properly so I took the you know like the little thing you get in your sunglasses kit I took that and I went to town on it and it got rid of like the big smudges but I wanted to buy this solution to like clean it even better so it came with three sprays and a cloth so I am going to do that right after I finish filming this segment and then I got this this is a little tripod but for your desk I actually sold all of my old filming lighting i just felt like my solutions were too cumbersome i had two massive softbox lights three led panel lights i just wasn't using it like i realized that with lighting i need it to be compact and i need i need it to be like so easy to put together or i'm just not going to use it and i need it to have a remote control <laughs> so i got rid of all my old solutions i think i'm going to show you what this looks like when i've set it up because again i'm running low on memory space well battery actually and then this is the face mask that i got sent by current body skin it's led light therapy mask i am so excited to try this because i've seen everybody on tick on ticky talk <laughs> it's actually gel on the inside i'm wearing makeup so i'm not going to put it on now but this is what it looks like that and then there's that so there's a little pouch for it an instruction manual I'm not sure what this little strap is <laughs> I'm assuming that's for the eyes <laughs> this is so interesting what is this is this the charger I don't know. I'm going to also go figure this out and we can show it. I'll show it to you when I know what I'm doing because right now I do not. But I'm so excited about my little pamper session. Like I have so many cool little things. So yeah, I need to put this away. It also came with a bunch of face masks that are on my vanity. So I'm not going to show that to you right now. But yeah, thank you so much, Current Body Skin. How nice is that? Da, 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 da. NARS! <laughs> I literally ordered a sharpener and one blush. <laughs> so this was the sharpener I ordered because my other sharpener, first of all, it's broken. Second of all, it just doesn't sharpen properly. So 
I decided to get this from NARS, not because I think it is worth spending nine pounds on a sharpener, but because I needed to spend like four more pounds to qualify for free delivery. So I figured I might as well. This is practically free if you think about it. And then I also finally, oh my God, there are two NARS blushes that I've been wanting for the longest time. Exhibit A, which is the bright red one that apparently Naomi Campbell helped to create. That one's always out of stock. And then I finally got this one just in time for summer. Taj Mahal. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a beautiful orangey color with shimmer. I don't typically like shimmer on my face, which is why I don't really highlight. Because I have textured skin, so I sometimes feel that shimmer just makes that look worse. But you know what? I've always wanted this blush, so I'm on the hunt for Exhibit A. I've also ordered a bunch of stuff from Look Fantastic and Space and K, but that's probably not going to come till Monday now. It's a public holiday here until Tuesday. Actually, it's probably going to come till Tuesday. I will pick you guys up later. I need to just take off my makeup and veg out for the rest of the evening. I was planning on filming, but I just don't have it in me today. So yeah. Also, let me know if you guys can tell the difference in the quality. I'm also filming in 4K. I don't always do that. So I'm going to clean my lens, charge my batteries, put all these boxes away, and then we can touch base. If not later today when I'm doing my mask, then maybe tomorrow. I finally figured out what was wrong with my camera. So I cleaned the lens with the solution I bought yesterday. I think it looks way better, which I'm happy about, but I'm also annoyed because I bought a new lens. <laughs> the lens I bought is a lens that I've been researching for over a year now, so I'm kind of curious to see if it'll really make a difference. When the new one comes, I'm going to compare it. And if I honestly cannot notice much of a difference, I think I'll just send it back. Having said that, all the videos that I've watched with this lens versus the other lens, I prefer the other lens that's coming. That's the tap in case you can hear anything. Happy Easter. You know what's so weird? I was talking to my friend, like we we're just saying how like this country, or maybe it's just where we are in London, it just does not feel like today's Easter Sunday at all. Like other than them selling like Easter eggs in the shops and stuff, you would never know today's Easter Sunday. But I feel like holidays, well at least Easter, feels like more of a big deal in Nigeria. I don't know, it's kind of sad. I guess if my family was here, we would all meet up for lunch. Yeah, that's actually what would happen. And last year for easter i was actually in nigeria this might be the first easter i've spent in this country in a while anyway <laughs> unboxing time Ooh, this packaging for space and kate i think i selected it was a gift yeah i did i don't know why i did that because i just have more packaging to throw away but this is very very nice yeah okay, i have space and kate and look fantastic Ooh, okay from look fantastic i got the infamous youth to the people green tea spinach and vitamins super free cleanser everyone talks about this stuff so we are going to see if it lives up to the hype i just remember to have a boots order coming oh it's a glass bottle my skin's been going through it i think i've told you guys about that already sorry about all the background noise i think that's a dishwasher i've been working with precious to try to revamp my skincare so I told her I wanted to try this cleanser because everyone just has really good things to say about it. And it's also way more affordable than the cleansers I use at the moment from DMK. So I'm going to try this out. I love that it's a glass bottle. I wonder if they sell like refills. That would be really, really nice. I'm so excited about this. I desperately need to wash my hair. I have not washed my hair since before I left for Lagos and I actually need to book a retie-in. Anyway, I just googled clarifying shampoos and this one from Way came up. It is the detox shampoo and the main reason why I got this is because Way is another brand that I've never tried anything from and also this shampoo apparently has apple cider vinegar and I love apple cider vinegar for locks. So we're going to see if this washes my hair well. If you guys don't know, I stopped using the Dr. Broners on my micro locks mainly because you guys had commented that that could possibly be contributing to my dry scalp. This smells like apple cider vinegar. Ooh, I'm excited. Honestly, if it wasn't such a 
miserable day i actually would go wash my hair but i actually want to film i love the packaging and they have an extra large bottle but you can only get that directly from way so i ordered both of these from look fantastic because they were cheaper than they were on space and k even though space and k has a better loyalty program this doesn't smell like anything by the way this smells like kale and green tea <laughs> Look at the quality of this packaging. Like what? Nah, Space and K. They are hands down my favorite place to shop for beauty things in the UK. Look at that. This is what you call gift packaging. Okay, let's put all this over there. So I got this. This is the Notorium. This is the Notorium body wash i got it in the brightening vitamin c body wash my friend actually has the glycolic acid one hopefully we can both try out both and decide which one we like better this brand is one of those like tiktok made me do it brands and honestly in terms of like luxury um shower gels it's not too bad i think it was like 16 pounds maybe this one actually smells more citrusy than the glycolic acid one and it's meant to be a good brightener so I'll keep you posted if I see a difference on that. And then I also got a retinol. This is something that Precious has been trying to get me to introduce to my routine for a while. So this is the retin retinol dehyde cream, 0.05% from Notorium. And I've done a bit of research. It's supposed to help with fine lines and even tone. I think it also helps with acne and she wants me to use this every other day for week one wait i think she said i need to check but basically i need to build up my tolerance to it and hopefully i don't have a bad reaction so this i don't know why i decided to come here and do the unboxing <laughs> i think i wanted to do the unboxing here because um i just didn't want to be in the same place as i was yesterday but this is actually not a great place with all the sounds but anyway I went with this brand because it was pretty affordable compared to others and I just wanted to go with the most, most affordable one. And then I finally ordered another Rare Beauty blush. I went with the shade Joy. This is something that I've been going back and forth about which color to get and I ended up going with this because I don't have like a nice coral color. And I think with spring coming up, I'm just leaning more towards like oranges, corals, those sorts of colors. I'm going to put all of my new stuff together and take a photo from my thumbnail. I'm trying to get better at thumbnail photos. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you guys. And now, of course, the washing machine wants to be quiet when I'm done with the haul. Spoke too soon. Let me know if you have any of these products and what you think about them. If you want to know what my first impressions or my mini reviews on any of these products will be, head on over to TikTok. I have so much new like skincare, body care stuff, so I think it makes sense to do that. So we're going to see how I can make that work in a new environment. You know, I've actually noticed like some people go to hotels to film these sorts of videos. Like that would actually be a fun thing to do. Ooh, let me go do some video thinking. But yeah. All right, guys. I'll pick you guys up later. L'Espagne. 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 C'est toi, Louis, tu tu a tu tu habites avec Paul. En Europe. J'habite en Europe. England is Angleterre. Interesting. Moi c'est Marc. J'étudie en Angleterre. God help me. My pronunciation is disgusting. <laughs> Ask about me. I'm a hustler, baby. I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler. I feel like if I really wanted to be fluent in French, I need to get myself a private tutor or actually go to classes and go like every single day. I'm watching One Day, is that what it's called? I blame Terrera for this. You know the event I went to last week's vlog? She was telling me about this show called One Day and the other, one of the organizers was also like, they were swooning over this show. 
And honestly, I love a good romance story. I'm a lover girl through and through. And so I started watching it today. I'm already on episode 11. I just know this show is going to break my heart. I hate storylines where it's so obvious that two people are supposed to be together and they just don't get together. Like it's so frustrating. I hate watching things like this. And I'm just like every episode more and more frustrated. I'm not going to ruin it because honestly, I haven't even watched it myself, so I don't think I can ruin it. I don't know how it ends, but I just have a feeling that that's what's going to end up happening. But the acting is amazing. If you love a good romance, definitely check it out. And speaking of frustrated love stories, this is not a very flattering angle, is it? By the way, the duvet washing it skinny girl in transit this season really annoyed me for them to take three years off and come back and give us the season that they gave us i don't know what happened honestly maybe my expectations were too high maybe i remembered the show being better than it was because it's been so long and now it's over this whole season has felt like a chore every friday i'm just like having it on in the background I appreciate that they're trying to address themes that are not typically addressed, at least not in Nigerian TV. I think Dee Dee and the whole storyline around her not wanting to have kids is quite interesting because that's not something that you see at all in Nigerian entertainment. Shalewa's storyline to me this year was dry. Like the whole will they won't they with her and the doctor. Like I just, I honestly, I was just kind of over it. Um, Beverly Naya's character, I always forget what her name is in the show, Daring. Her storyline about her trying to get a sperm donor, like, it just felt very spontaneous. Like, the people just wake up one day, decide they want a kid and go get a, sp a sperm donor. Like, that storyline just felt very fake. The storyline around the guy as well also felt very fake. The chemistry with the guy, the chemistry even with Shelley Wan and the doctor also feels quite forced. Like, everything this season has just been very disappointing. And then that stupid, stupid stupid plot twist at the end with Mide and Tiwa. I'm not even going to address it because I'm honestly just confused. Even the way he woke up in the middle of the night and was like, let's move out of the country for me was very random. This is someone whose whole business is based in Nigeria, is doing very well in Nigeria. All the successful men in Nigeria that I know, you cannot beg them. You, you, like, you cannot <laughs> get them to leave Nigeria, especially if that's where their business is. More times than not, what I see commonly in Nigeria is the woman actually leaving Nigeria with her kids and leaving her husband back behind. I've, I don't think I've ever, ever, ever seen a situation where a successful businessman in Nigeria has wittingly left his business in Nigeria and left his family in Nigeria. Like that just doesn't happen. Even the storyline with Mide and this like supposed affair that he's having, again, it just felt very random. Like just, <laughs> we didn't see anything that would let us think that that was even an a possibility and now all of a sudden he's trying to run off with this woman like mommy tiwa and being an influencer again just fake like it just feels so forced wosi went from trying to be super popular in one episode to throwing a house party in the next episode and now she's like passing her exams and now she too wants to be an influencer and don't even get me started on that weird gen z thing that they were doing the aunt storyline these are the sorts of things that i feel like are really good conversations they're trying to tell so many different storylines in such short episodes and in only 10 episodes so everything just feels very rushed even last week's episode where they had their slumber party, that felt like a filler episode to me. And I'm like, why are we having filler episodes in a season that doesn't even feel like enough has been told? And where's Muhammad? They spent so many years building up characters to just throw them by the wayside. And now we're rushing through everyone else's storylines. Like, it's just... Anyway, I think I've, I've ranted enough about it. I was just very, very disappointed. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I never vlog at night because the lighting is always quite bad. But this is what my, oh my God, I keep forgetting it's Easter. This is what my Sunday looked like. And it's the 1st of April. Happy April Fool's Day. Oh my 
gosh, I haven't seen you guys. I don't even remember the last time I saw you. It must have been Easter, I think. It's been such a crazy time, guys. Like, in case you cannot tell, I've had to move again. Nothing I can get into, unfortunately, because it involves other people and their business. But I will say, like, it's been really unsettling to be honest but i'm really grateful to have people that will just like take me in <laughs> during this season but this is where i am at the moment it's so like ugh, i hate this like anyone that knows me knows how resistant i am to change and there's so much change so much uncertainty like i'm a capricorn if you believe in like the whole zodiac sign thing I never used to, but I'm learning to believe more in it because I think I actually am a very typical Capricorn. But yeah, this is just like, I feel like I'm scratching my nails on a chalkboard. Like I'm so incredibly grateful, like don't get me wrong, like beyond grateful. I just want to be able to like feel settled somewhere. I've kind of been a little bit depressed this week. Actually, I was talking to my therapist today and um, one of the things I told her was like, I'm just finding it really challenging to just like leave the house. Like every morning I say, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go for a walk and I never do. And I realized that I was like stifling myself because I had so many things to do. My mind was so cluttered. I didn't feel settled. I didn't know my surroundings. If I'm in a circumstance where I don't know what to do, I freeze. I say all that to say, this week I've been feeling really overwhelmed. So I just stayed in all week. <laughs> And again, not a good character trait because life goes on and so many things need to get done. But that's just what I'm learning about myself in this season. So one thing that my therapist said, and I'm sharing this because I think that it might be useful. She said to focus on, I think she said low effort tasks or low effort routine, something like that. So even if it's just every morning, I'm gonna get out of bed and make myself a cup of coffee or every day I'm gonna wake up and go for a walk. Like just something that's like very like simple, but something that, gets me out of bed and gets my day going. And then I can build off of that. So I've been doing that with like tasks that I need to get done, made a long list and I'm like, okay, every day I'm going to dedicate 15 minutes to knocking something off of this list. The annoying thing about life is as I knock things off the list, I add more things onto the list. But the great thing about that is I feel like I'm making progress. So my task for today was to get out and leave the house and go grocery shopping, which is something that I've been needing to do all week. And I finally did it. And I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back <laughs> because I feel like, I feel really good about the fact that I did something very basic. So let's do a grocery haul. I also went to TK Maxx. I think I'm gonna show you what I got from Sainsbury's first. So, I just got a few things because I honestly still have quite a bit of food from when I was at my friend's house. So I don't really need a lot of things, but I got this. This is a high protein, a high protein granola from a brand called Flourish. Okay, Sainsbury's Flourish. It's really difficult to find granola that doesn't have any nuts in it. And this didn't, and it was also high in protein. And it was quite low in sugar because it's like a berry one. So I hope it tastes good. I don't have very high expectations. I feel like there's too much going on with this, but we'll see. I also got some popcorn. When it comes to portion control and popcorn, I have none. But Sainsbury's doesn't have like their own brand of popcorn. At least they did it in the one I went to. So I got that one. And then I also got this sea salt one that's individually packed. And I'm really hoping that I can snack on this when I'm like watching things late at night. Honestly, guys, I need to get back into eating like someone who has goals because everything has been derailed. <laughs> haven't been to the gym. I haven't been eating well. Like every time I feel like I get a grasp on my routine, something happens and knocks me off my feet again. So it's just difficult. But I need to like, it's fine. I'm going to get back on track. I got some bananas because I'm really determined to go to the gym tomorrow. And I figured, okay, bananas, pre-workout snack. Blah, 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 blah. These bananas are 79p. I was very impressed. Like that's cheaper than most places. Honestly, I think I'm gonna turn into someone who orders their groceries, by the way. It's just not really convenient. Like <laughs> going to the store, carrying groceries. Look at what I found. I didn't even know this was a thing. Haribo with just the hearts. 
Like that's my favorite Haribo. And I'm so, I'm not bad, but I basically had already bought sweets at TK Maxx and that was going to be my sweet treat for the week. And then I saw that and then I got some more Uncle Ben's rice. I realized it's not called Uncle Ben anymore. It's called Ben Originals. I don't know when that changed. But yeah, I got the peri peri rice and I got the savory chicken rice because I'm going to make myself some chicken and salmon. You guys have seen this so many times. But I am going to challenge myself to make a different recipe. Maybe not this week, but next week. That was one of the things that my therapist tasked me with for this week. To fall back in love with the things that I love doing. And cooking is one of those things. I also picked these up. They had these like pastel Sharpie underlining things i'm officially going back to school like i got my syllabus for my marketing professional course i told you guys i'm doing the chartered institute of marketing diploma whatever cim is what i'm going to refer to it for the sake of the vlog and tomorrow's my orientation and i'm kind of geeking out like i need to order notebooks and stuff like that thankfully i have that printer that i bought so i can print out all my course notes I got some tender stem broccoli, some potatoes, some of my Greek yogurt. I got four of these because they're actually not that easy to find. Like you have to go to like the big supermarkets to find those. I really took that for granted. <laughs> and then I got some toilet cleaner, some carpet, and then I've got some kombucha. Another thing I've really, really missed is kombucha. So I've never tried this brand before. This is the ginger kombucha from Number One Living and the passion fruit kombucha from the same brand. I got some sweet potato fries, some green beans, and some easy peelers, and some turmeric shots. I got two packs of this, the Highland Spring six pack, and then I got some San Pellegrino six of those. So I'm going to put my total here. When I tell you, like the Nectar card savings at Sainsbury's today were insane. I don't think I've ever saved that much money from shopping. So I was very, very excited to see my total go down, literally almost 10 pounds. And then I went to TK Maxx. I actually went to TK Maxx first, but I don't think it's that important. I think I might show you what I got from TK Maxx when I'm back in my room. Yeah, because I actually need to call my friend back. She called me when I was on my way here. So I'm gonna do my little TK Maxx haul later. Uh, I'm gonna put all this away. But yeah, um, it's really difficult vlogging when you're going through a lot of stuff. That's all I'm going to say. And especially when you can't really speak on what you're like dealing with. Like it's, it's difficult. But I don't want to make that like the thing in every single vlog. If there's one thing that I want to come across to anyone watching this, it's that life goes on, even in the midst of chaos. If your life feels or is chaotic, right now that's fine we're all in this together piece by piece brick by brick it is possible to rebuild it is never too late and just focus on what you have as opposed to what you don't have and just trust and believe that with time and with a little bit of patience everything will be okay because that's what i'm doing good morning Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> Today, I'm going to hopefully take you along with me everywhere I go because I don't have a vlog and I'm conscious of the fact that I haven't even like done the rough edit of this vlog and it's supposed to be going out tomorrow. I cannot kill myself. I really cannot. If I don't make it today or this week, then we'll just have to pick things up next week. But anyway, last night was a lot of fun. I ended up going to my friend's house. We had Chinese food and wine. It was a really nice like girls' night. 
and I was never able to share you the bits that I got from TK Maxx. I just woke up in case I look crazy. I think I showed you guys these um, bonnets in this vlog, but if I haven't, I got a set of four and this was one of them. <laughs> I'll link them down below, they're from Amazon. So anyway, oof, I slept on my piercing weird last night and it kind of hurts, which is really annoying because I think it's finally, hopefully healed. I don't want to jinx it, but anyway, I went into TK Maxx just to have a look like I didn't really go in with an agenda, which I think can sometimes be really risky, but I did really well. So I ended up getting a shower cap. I have not bought a shower cap in such a long time and mine is literally falling apart. And I really liked the pattern on this one. It was giving like Japanese spring blossom garden. It's very pretty. Hopefully my hair will fit. I realized that I have a large head and I've also realized that as my locks grow, yeah, can you see like this barely fits my head. I'm going to need like a super sized shower cap at some point, which is actually insane. So I got that. I also got one of these because I think it was earlier in this vlog when I was, I want to get my scissors, when I was, um, editing my makeup portion there were so many bits where I kept moving my hair out of my face and I was like surely that's what people have all those little makeup bands for yes I do think quite a bit of it is just as aesthetics but it seemed practical in that moment and these were only $3.99 so I haven't been telling you prices these were $3.99 and the shower cap was also $3.99 you could possibly get these for a lot cheaper on Amazon but <laughs> yeah you see it doesn't quite fit but yeah this is cool because I can just push my hair back and go like that and it would stay I'm gonna link these on Amazon because I think I've seen them cheaper on Amazon and in TK Maxx they had this mint green color they also had a pink one and then they had like a coral one and a purple one but I went with this and I also got like these, let me show you. I didn't get the pink one because I don't know why I thought I had a pink bow. I got these bows from Amazon. These were really affordable on Amazon. I think with these, you just go like that and push your hair back that way. I'm not doing it right, hold on. Let me try a colored one so you can actually see it. Ah, uh, these are way more comfortable, at least for me. These don't quite fit my head. Yeah, big head problems. So I'll link all of the little like contraptions I've been getting on Amazon. I got four of these, I think for $7.99, so they're way cheaper. I also got some pajamas. That was the main thing I was looking for. So these were from Donna Karen. I really liked the fabric i'm really particular about fabric like even the pajamas i'm wearing right now they're this like fake satin fabric that is not really comfortable for me to sleep in i actually get quite hot sometimes in these sorts of pajamas the pajamas came with these like three quarter length trousers that i think might be too small for me so i have to try these on because they don't really stretch i got them in a large and then this top i just really like these so i feel like they're the kind of pajamas that are quite smart, but we'll see. I have a feeling that the trousers might be too small. And then I got these shorts. This is the kind of fabric that I like for sleeping. It's like a really soft jersey fabric. So this was in a size 16. I like oversized pajamas. So um, I got this for $16.99. They're from a brand called Cyber Jammies that I've never heard of. It's a really nice sage green or just like an olive green color and a cream piping along there. And then the shorts I quite liked because they're just very simple with a drawstring. So these are definitely for more summer weather. But yeah, I got those two. I actually found other pajamas, but in the end I had to limit it to two because I ended up finding shoes. 
I don't know how I got this lucky. I've been wanting to get a pair of chocolate brown shoes to go with my chocolate brown bag. You could hopefully see around there from Anthropology, which is literally my everyday bag at this point. And I found these. First of all, I never find shoes in TK Maxx because I'm a UK size 8, European 41. And for whatever reason, like that section in TK Maxx always has the least amount of shoes. And yeah, all the cute shoes are just in smaller sizes. So for whatever reason, I, when I saw these, I was so confused. These are from Massimo Duty. So again, really good brand. And I don't know how they are reduced from $49.99, which was the TK Maxx price. And they went on sale to £30. So I don't know what the original price was. Like, I'm going to look these up. I'm pretty sure, like, from Massimo DT, they would have been maybe, like, at least, at least £180. They smell like real leather, but they don't say that they're leather anywhere. anywhere. Oh, hold on. Made in Spain. Yeah, it doesn't say that it's genuine leather anywhere. I'm pretty sure that these are genuine leather, guys. These are my favorite cut for boots. Like, I love a little squared off toe. I have a black pair that I bought from and other stories last year, which honestly I love, but they're not the most comfortable for walking. So I really am hoping that these break in a bit better, but 30 pounds for boots from Massimo DT. And I'm gonna go with their leather. They smell like leather. And then, these are the ones I'm not too sure about. You guys know I've been looking for a pair of chunky loafers for the longest time. I just feel like these would be really, really fun to style. These were, 20 pounds on sale from 59 they've been discounted twice because i can see that they have two discount stickers on them these are from a brand called marco tozy apparently they're made in germany they're a super dark brown that could pass almost as black in certain lights and i just feel like they would be a lot more interesting to style than a plain pair of loafers i like that the hardware is like an aged brass so it's not super shiny and again i just feel like these would be quite easy to style they're super comfortable like when i wore these they felt more comfortable walking around in the shop than my trainers felt which is crazy that was everything that i bought from tk maxx gosh i really need to do my nails because they keep snagging in my hair but yeah um i'm about to go make myself a cup of coffee and get ready to go to the gym i have not been to the gym even before i injured my shoulder my shoulder's coming up to be two weeks tomorrow will it be two weeks tomorrow yeah, it'll be two weeks tomorrow since I injured my shoulder, which is insane. It feels a lot better. I'm not taking the painkillers anymore, but it definitely doesn't feel all the way healed. So I think it's time for me to go back to the gym. I could have been going this whole time, to be very honest. I've just been being easy. I need to go to the gym, come back, and I have my orientation for my CIM class today. I don't know what to expect. I haven't even gone through any of the course notes or anything. I think it's just going to be a thing where people can ask questions. I don't have any questions to ask. So I will just be on mute. <laughs> um, and then I also want to try and get my nails done today. And then my friend and I are meant to be going out tonight. I am really trying to socialize more in Lagos because <laughs> you see where my mind is. I'm trying to socialize more in London. When I'm in Lagos, I have something to do every single weekend like clockwork when i'm here it's just different the social scene in london what i've accepted and i've discussed this with so many more people i feel like london is just not really geared to socializing <laughs> and i know that's like a crazy thing to say but everyone lives so far away like it's literally an hour for me to see any of my friends that's already two hours minimum round trip then it's like okay it's expensive it's cold where do you go like you go through all this effort and you go out and it's like sometimes it's not even a fun night whereas in lagos it's like always guaranteed like i know where to go i know what to do it's way less expensive it's so much easier because everything's closer to each other when you compare you won't do anything and that's what i was telling my friends last night like we have to just kind of accept what this city has to offer 
and not compare it to other cities. And I think that's the mindset that I'm in right now. Um, we're gonna go to a really pretty bar. I'm going to wear a really pretty dress. I'm going to really make an effort because I really want to come out of the, you know, slump. And for the longest time, like I just haven't been able to go out the way I wanted to go out here. And now I can, so. I want to see what London has to offer and the weather is finally starting to pick up. So why not? It's the weekend. <laughs> the gym you guys I survived the gym I was actually planning on vlogging at the gym but when I got to the gym it was so packed I mean Saturday <laughs> and no one else was recording themselves like normally you know you see people even recording themselves on the on their phones no one was recording themselves and I just felt I felt like it wouldn't be appropriate so I didn't record I put on weight guys <laughs> I could already see it in my face and I could feel it in my body. But in the gym today, like I could see it. I knew that the way I was eating and my lack of movement since being back was gonna catch up with me and it's definitely caught up with me. It's frustrating, but I understand it. And I'm going to share my, show myself grace. And I have a plan, which is the most important thing. So I'm actually going to start, sorry, I'm trying to eat. I'm gonna start walking 10K steps every day at least 10k steps every day. That was actually one of the things that I told my um, therapist that I would start doing this week, just wake up in the morning and go for a walk. For me, I think that like will be the catalyst to everything else. So if I wake up in the morning, go for a walk, go to the gym, like just start my, my day with movement, I think it'll like start everything else going right. Because for me, I'm the kind of person that if I go to the gym, I'm more inclined to eat right. If I eat right, I'm gonna lose weight it just starts the process for me so today i actually walked back from the gym it was a pretty good walk actually like a good amount of time i wasn't able to hit 10k steps but i was able to at least right now i'm like over 6k so the plan tomorrow is to make sure that i hit at least 10k and my friend is joining in on my walking challenge so we're going to hopefully motivate each other i don't want to focus on too many things at the same time because i'm going to overwhelm myself 
So my goal for this week is just to focus on moving my body every day. I got a good workout in. The gym that I went to today is pretty well equipped. I was able to do everything I needed to do. I just wanna get my body back into the habit of moving. And while I was working out today, I was actually doing my orientation for my CIM qualification. Like it was a two hour Zoom call. And I'm really excited. We start classes next Saturday. I'm also doing my French placement test on Tuesday. I've been Duolingoing every day. I'm on a 27, 28 day streak. I think I'm going to be a beginner, to be honest, because my speaking is really bad, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I really just want to self-improvement and just being a better or more of a well-rounded person. And that was one of my goals for this year. And I feel like my camera is shaking and I do not know why. I know that there's a lot of like me actually talking to the camera in this vlog as opposed to like showing you what I'm doing. All the things I've like gone out to do, I just haven't been able to vlog. I couldn't vlog at the shopping mall yesterday. There was like a security guard that was just like this. And the last thing I want to do is get in trouble for filming. I'm going to spend the rest of the day editing. I'm going to see if I can get my vlog to a interesting enough point to where i can edit it and hopefully put it out tomorrow i wanted to try and get my nails done today i haven't booked an appointment and i'm also meant to be going out tonight if my friend doesn't cancel i would not be surprised if she does what we're gonna see but yeah i think i'm going to leave this here for now i'm gonna finish eating my breakfast slash lunch and then i'm going to get my head done and start editing and yeah we're gonna see what ends up happening tonight about how my lens got scratched blah 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 one thing i noticed when i was in nigeria was that my lens cap like would not stay on my actual camera like i put it on my camera i put my camera in my bag and then my lens cap would be gone that's pretty much how my lens ended up getting scratched and then i just realized that like it just wasn't staying on and i'm really slow about these sorts of things like i'm really not good at technology i feel like i've said this a couple times before and so I didn't realize that the spring in my lens cap was weak, so it just wasn't staying on. So I ordered a replacement one from Amazon, finally, and now it stays on. These are the sorts of things that I think would be really obvious to a smarter, you know what, I'm smart. I reject that in Jesus' name. These are the sorts of things that I feel like should be obvious, but it wasn't obvious to me. This was $7.99. <laughs> and to think that that is kind of why my lens I mean, besides the fact that I dropped it in acetone at the nail salon, but that's the, the main reason why I think a lot of the issues with my lens have been, has happened. So make sure that all of your tech stuff is protected. That's what I wanted to say. I feel like you probably already know that. I have not heard back from my friend about whether we are going out tonight. You know when you reach out to someone and you're like, hey, what time are we meeting? And it's been hours and I have not heard back. So it's not looking very good. I don't know, part of me is kind of like, if I don't hear back, do I just like take myself out? Or do I just take the L and go to bed? <laughs> and it's so funny because it's been wind storming all day. <laughs> the Whoever like, what's the word, guesses, does the weather forecast in the UK, I'm convinced like they literally just use us to catch crews. If you don't know what that means, it's just, like they like to play with us basically. They predicted that there was going to be a heat wave this weekend and it was going to be 20 degrees. I was talking about this with my friend who's like, we need to do something this weekend. There's going to be a heat wave. And I was like, it's as if the UK weather has never broken your heart before. There's not going to be any dirty heat wave. I already knew that literally. The best thing that's happened this week is that it hasn't rained. Take that and run with it. There's no way there's going to be a heat wave. I just knew it in my heart. Of course, there's been no heat wave. There's been a windstorm all day. <laughs> but again, it's not raining. I will take that as a win. I don't know how we got on this topic. Yes, one of the main reasons why we plan to do anything this week was because of some false sense of optimism that the weather would be good. Here we are. Here we are. I still haven't heard back from my friend in about an hour. I don't think I'm going to go because... 
Maybe I can start getting ready now if we're really gonna go anywhere. So, there's also that. And this is for recycling. Un momento, por favor. I can see all the Spanish I know. <laughs> Cowboy Carter by Beyonce. If you have, please let me know what you think about it in the comments. There's been so much discourse about this album on social media, and the truth is, I have no interest in listening to it. And that's no shade to Beyonce. I just literally like, I don't think I could possibly care less about country music. Like, I have no interest. I actually tried to listen to it during the week, and this was a I put on the first track for like 20 seconds and turned it off. It just wasn't the vibe of what I was trying to listen to. Like this week I've been wanting to listen to really like nostalgic music. So there's a lot of Maxwell on repeat this week, Doyle on repeat this week. That's just my vibe, man. I'm not really trying to listen to all that. But I did listen to the new Bryson Tiller album. I don't mind it. It's not as good as his first one which has been my feeling about all of his albums, to be very honest. Nothing's been able to beat Trap Soul, as far as I'm concerned. I also listened to Tyler, Tiller's new album. Let's carry you over here. Um, she tried. She actually really tried. As far as first albums go, you know, I've been hearing a lot of discourse about her being compared to Rihanna. And I know that's going to upset a lot of people, but I actually see it. Like there's something in Tyler Tilla that reminds me of what Rihanna was like when she first came out. Remember when Rihanna first came out? And she was like heavy, like pawn the replay, Caribbean princess, Bayesian princess. Like everyone was so excited. Like Tilla Tyler, I'm so sorry, I don't know her name. Like she gives me that, but but for South Africa. And I think her album was really, really good for her first album. Like it's a pop princess, but it has that um, a piano Afrobeat flair. And I can really see her like crossing over. Like she's already done it to be honest. I think she won a Grammy. I still don't think she deserved the Grammy that she won only because she won a Grammy for best Afrobeat performance or African performance. I wish she had won like best pop artist or best new pop artist or whatever the categories are. I don't think she, I don't think she should have won African performance because that song specifically like does not sound like an Afrobeat song to me. Um, I say all that to say that I'm very proud of her. As my fellow African sister, I am super proud of her. And I think she's going to go really, really far. Like whoever's behind her, you can tell that they are ready to spend money <laughs> that is required for her to go really, really far. Let's try and do some laundry. This is literally me just carrying you around with me all day because I need footage. <laughs> In case you can't tell. I didn't even tell you guys why I was talking about music. I found a mix to Beyonce's 16 Carriages on SoundCloud that was mixed in with Fortunate by Maxwell. If it doesn't get copyrighted, that will be my intro song for this week's vlog. And I'm very excited about it. Like looking for music is such a hassle. And finding music that's not copyrighted is like a full-time job for YouTube. So I really hope that you guys get to hear it because it is such a nice song. Ooh, 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 ah, ooh. Never heard a song quite like this. Oh my gosh, look at the jumpsuit I was saying I was gonna wear today. 
I didn't even realize it was in my laundry basket. So that's needless to say I need to find something else. <laughs> oh wow. You know my favorite part of that song is when he goes, at the end, the ad libs, and he goes, it's making me dance, it's making me dance out loud. Because <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> it's making me dance. It's making me dance. Oh. These pods, I've noticed that they're quite popular. Even my friend uses them. I'm just used to the liquid detergent. But these seem to be the new wave. But you're meant to put one of these in like at the back of the drum. And I never, I never remember. <laughs> these things I've never really bought before. Unstoppables. In wash scent booster. What do you do with this? Up to three caps for the ultimate experience. Okay, calm down. What does this do? It's just, it's just like a fragrance. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like super like strong smelling clothes anyway, so I don't think I need that. Um, what else have we got? We've got some of this. I'm familiar with this. This is Vanish. Amazing stain removal. Put one scoop. Okay, start. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing my pajamas, it's because when I took a shower, I just wanted to put them back on and it's cold. So it's like six o'clock at the moment. I need to find something to eat. I actually grilled some chicken yesterday. I didn't show you because I feel like I make chicken in every single vlog. I'm thinking I'm going to have that with some sweet potato fries or actually I'm just going to do that because I can't be bothered. I would show it to you, but I feel like you guys have seen me make this so many times, so... I'm just going to show you what it looks like when it's all done, okay? <laughs> you just wait for a nigga to do something before you kill him. I'm going to wait. Man's or not, I'm going to wait till you say something. It could be 